Welcome back to Pride. In today's video, we're going to be doing seven rounds on the Century Bob. This is good drills for boxers and MMA fighters to really sharpen up your hands, focusing on technique and endurance. We're going to be throwing a lot of punches, seven rounds, focusing on specific punches each round to really sharpen our technique. So every round, we're going to set our timer. We're going to be doing three minute rounds, professional rounds. We're going to take one minute break in between each round. First round, we're going to start off with the jab, so we're only throwing the jab. You don't have to just stay stuck right in front of Bob only throwing jabs. You can move, you can parry, you can cover up, you can counter with the jab, so you can mix it up a little bit, but we're only throwing the jab, no other punches. You can throw jabs to the head, you can sneak down jabs to the body, you can angle with the jab. Only jabs for three minutes straight. Use your timer. One minute break. All right, we completed our first round only using the jab. Second round, we're only going to throw the right cross. Same thing, three minutes, three minute round, one minute break in between. Only throwing the cross. Throw the pop cross, throw a power cross using more body. Cross to the body. Catch and shoot. Move around, use some feints, feint that left hand, throw that cross. Move around. Don't stay stuck in one position, but we're only working on the right cross. Now we're on our third round. It's also going to be a three minute round. Now we're only throwing the left uppercut, okay? Try to get that left uppercut right under Bob's chin. Same thing, moving around. Try to land that left uppercut. Paint that right hand. Deliver the left uppercut. Move in. Use angles. Land that left uppercut. Fake the jab. Just to get in close. Get your opponent to react with that feint. Put yourself in position to land that left uppercut. All right, we're three rounds in. We're on our fourth round now. We're only throwing the right uppercut. Same thing, moving close, only using that right uppercut. You can get some movement in there. Move around, out of range, get into range, faint that jab, use that right uppercut, okay? Slipping side to side, moving the feet. Slip, slip, right uppercut. Faint to the body, come up to the head, okay? Only using the right uppercut for a full three minutes. Now we're on our fifth round, we're going to be going to my favorite punch, the left hook. Only left hooks. Left hook we can throw to the head, or we can get low, throw to the body. Slip, okay. Faint that cross, throw that left hook to the head, move in. Left hook to the body. Double up the left hook. Go from the body to the head. My opponent is moving a lot. Gonna get him to square back up with us. Move around. Paint the punches, use the left hook, only left hooks.
feint that jab. Good way to step forward to land that left hook in close. Now for our sixth round, we're going to be only throwing the right hook. Just like the left hook, we can throw to the body or to the head. And we're going to come in close, step to the outside, use that right hook, press slips, bob and weave, keep moving, try to use some feints, feint the jabs, come in with that right hook, slips, right hook. Double up the right hook, down to the body, up to the head. Double up to the body. That's our sixth round, only right hooks. And now for our seventh and final round, we're going to throw a little bit of everything. We're going to mix it all together. So we're not only going to use one punch, we're going to use a little bit of everything. It's always important after completing your first six rounds to do at least one round where you're just mixing everything together and really getting your combinations going using your footwork don't forget to use your feints covering up and then countering working on your counter punches thank you guys for watching i hope this video helps you out with your training be sure to subscribe to prime martial arts for more